by the grace of God, I just pray that God will help me. I'm just, I'm believing God. What's that term that annoys me? You either believe God or you don't. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yetende. I was thinking about the fact that this social media life People do not read to understand, but they just literally read to attack. Read to be like, I've read one or two words. Ah, I'm angry. I don't vex. I don't, how can this person say this? And it's like, if we settle down and read what is written, maybe even read it more than once, perhaps we might even learn something. I remember I posted something on Instagram. It's been a while now. And the caption was like, basically, you know, hustling is not the way forward i'm paraphrasing here and that you know as a child of god we're not supposed to hustle <sighs> see see people thankfully like i feel like my community on instagram we can agree to disagree without insults but there's there's a few people that they don't know me they'll, they'll just come and be like what are you talking about it's easy for you to say this on that one that one i'm just like ah, ah? did you ask me why i said that so my reasoning for that was it was something that i had learned at that time it was that as a child of god we are not supposed to be striving so hard for things that god can easily bless us with and it can sometimes be like oh god will, you know and i don't mean like god will do it ministries or where everything ah god will do it ah i'm waiting on god I trust that God will do it. Amen. But you're not really like show because when the Bible says faith without works is dead, that's true too. You can't be like I trust God, but you're not putting any action towards it. Mm -mm. That's just empty words. Like you know, and a lot of people do that. It's a lot of Christian rhetoric. It's like oh, by the grace of God, I just pray that God will help me. I'm just I'm believing God. What's that term that annoys me? You either believe God or you don't. What is I'm believing? Like you're still, I'm trying to believe if God will do it. That's a weird term. But anyway, the scripture that I came across was Deuteronomy 8, 17 to 18, which I feel like encapsulates why as Christians, we're not supposed to be hustling. It says, you may say to yourself, my power and the strength of my hands have produced this wealth for me. But remember the Lord, your God, for it is he who, who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms his covenant which he swore to your ancestors as it is today so for those people that are always like i'm self-sufficient i can do it myself it's my hard work and my sweat that has got me where i am yes it's great to have like um good work ethic it's good to be hard working i believe that's such an important um character to have but in the same breath if you feel like everything that you've built is is just on your hard work your your on your tears and the, on the back of yourself it's so, you're sorely mistaken because god forbid the reality is if we don't acknowledge that god has given us that strength he has given the know-how he has given us the ability got like there are people that find themselves the way they have been so successful in life and then something happens and usually it could be like a health scare or maybe something like they, they made a bad business judgment and everything's gone. It li everything is literally by the grace of God. So I, I'm just saying all of this to say, as you go into this week, to go in with an attitude of, Lord, I commit all my work onto your hands. I pray that you will bless the work of my hands. I pray that you will, and that your hands will crown all my efforts with your goodness. That's it. So we go in with the attitude of, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to work as if I'm working onto the Lord, because the Bible says that. And I'm going to, I'm going to do my very best. But Lord, I pray that you will bless, bless my work, bless my work. And I pray to see the fruits of my, of my good works um, in great health in Jesus name. Amen. So I'm here to remind you guys, let's not be talking about I'm hustling. I'm a hustler. I've got the hustling spirit. I'm all about hustling. Let's try and shift our rhetoric and be like, actually, I'm going to work hard. And by the grace of God, I will, you know, I'll be successful. And sometimes you like, and I say this as well, because there are people that give testimonies of the fact that it's, they're dumb. They, they didn't even do anything. 
they can tell you that they they barely did anything not because that they had the you know they were lazy but they didn't have to do anything and god just keeps blessing them his outpouring of blessings are unlike it's un, we, we don't deserve them because when, when god opens the door of blessings nobody can shut them and we don't have to work hard to gain favor in god's sight we just have to get right with god like we just have to have our hearts in the right place and that's it we don't have to hustle we don't have to sweat because grace will take you further than anything any way further than hustling ever will and that's on period anyway i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you guys in my next video tomorrow have a great week ahead bye